Hey guys, we're just going to do an EP tutorial on how to convert a Tenergy 9X from standard firmware to ER9X using the USB controller. Okay, um, now plug your controller in. I've got my jumper here. That's why this is not, I've got no battery in here at all. I've got the cable connected which is hardwired onto my circuit board. So you connect it up. And as you can see it's running um, the Turnigy software. Okay, now if you notice on the board here there's a red light on which shows that it's powered which is fine uh, just a reminder do not connect any of this stuff or power down your machine um, while it's flashing or writing or reading because you can, can corrupt the processor inside the unit and if you do that you might as well strip it down for parts because it's very 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 difficult if not impossible to recover from that Okay, so without further ado, we open EP. Now there's a set of controls here. What we're interested in is first of all configuration. So you want to make sure that the pass correct for your EP AVR dude, because that's what it's using in the background. Um, make sure your program is correct, which I've got a USB ASP, which is correct. Make sure it's the MCU set for M64 and the port is for USB okay so okay that and now what we're going to do is we're going to flash the unit so click flash and we're going to go to the latest stable ER9X hex which I downloaded before and go to open and it will ask you if it's going to write to flash memory now writing to the flash memory is final basically so you've got to do this to get to the ER9X so what you do when I hit yes the screen will go blank the blue light comes on and it's starting to write to the to the actual right through this cable into the unit here now that's going to go for probably 35 to 40 seconds and once that's done that it will actually do a read verification and as you can see the blue data is solid the red, both the blue and red LEDs are solid and it's busy doing its thing Okay, that's successful, and it's come up with an alert, bad EEPROM data, press any key button. Okay, so we'll, we'll click OK, and what happens is when you press the, any one of these keys, either anything really, um, ER9X re recognises that there's no EEPROM, it's flashed it, there's flash, the flash is done, but it's got its own software in there to actually format the EEPROM so we'll do that now formatting ER9X ok that's a standard setup for ER9X ok so press any key to continue and if I have a look here I'll go through the up if you have a look see these lines are all way over that means that all my sticks are out of calibration so that's easy to fix you um, hold down the plus button and then you get to the main control menus of the actual radio itself and you go to number six so back one to number six so press menu to start your calibrations I see here on the, le on the left stick the little square area is telling me that the stick thinks it's in the far right hand corner which is way over here but it's not see it's dead from there on and then and the other stick is the complete opposite it thinks that this is far over there and when I move it back 
but it always keeps going back to there. So what you do is you hit menu, center your sticks, all your zero, all your uh, three pots. One, two, three, yep. And then that's called midpoint. Press menu. Move the sticks and pots when and press menu when done. So we want to move the sticks to all four corners of the universe. Okay, and the same with this one. All four ports of the universe. And you see this cross goes straight back to zero. I want to move this up to the center, that goes to zero. Okay. Same with the pots, all the way down, all the way up, back to center. All the way down, all the way up, back to center. And all the way down, all the way up, back to center. What it's doing is giving it giving the processor a minimum and maximum reading and it's making its calculations from there on. So press menu when done. And that's calibrated now, so exit that. Done. Thanks for watching.